Hello everybody, I'm Tina Chowdhury. Welcome to my channel and a very warm namaste. Regardless of whether someone believes in astrology or not, when somebody asks you, what is your zodiac sign? You normally know what the answer is and you tell them your zodiac sign. Now what you're actually telling him is your sun sign. Those are the sun signs commonly believed and the ones that you see in newspapers and magazines. But do you know that there are two more zodiac signs that are associated with each person. And those are a little more impactful and have more major influences in your life than the sun sign that you commonly believe is yours. The first is your moon sign and the second is your ascendant or your rising sign. And then the third is the sun sign that you all seem to know about. There's a lot of confusion about all these signs and a lot of you didn't even know that there's two other signs that <laughs> apply to you. So today I'm going to analyze and clarify the difference between these th three zodiac signs and help you understand the signification of all these three signs via the uh, analysis of a birth chart of a very famous Bollywood celebrity. I'm not going to tell you who it is just yet. Um, so you want to watch this. Okay. Let's get to learn the basics. There are 12 houses in a birth chart and there are 12 zodiac signs that correspond to these 12 houses. In a birth chart, depending upon which zodiac sign your moon is placed in becomes your moon sign. In the same birth chart, depending upon which zodiac sign the sun is placed in becomes your sun sign. And depending upon which house or which zodiac sign becomes the first house becomes your ascendant or rising sign. Now, how they got there and how they got calculated, don't worry about because if I go into that, it's gonna become very complicated. So this is all you need to know. A lot of you looks very confused. Let me put up a sample chart. Here you go. Let's take a look at this chart. Do you see where the sun is placed? And it says the number six. The sixth sign of the zodiac is Virgo. The sun is placed in Virgo. Her sun sign is therefore Virgo. Do you see where the moon is placed? The moon is placed in the zodiac sign marked four. Cancer is the fourth zodiac sign. Her moon sign is Cancer. And do you see the first house? It says the number two. The second zodiac sign is Taurus. Her ascendant or rising sign is Taurus. Can you guess whose birth chart this is? No, of course you can't because I haven't read it yet. I haven't given you the details. This is the birth chart of the very famous legendary singer of the Indian film industry, Lata Mangeshkar. This is Lata Mangeshkar's birth chart. And now we're gonna study the effects of the moon sign, the sun sign, and the rising sign based on this sample chart. Let's talk about the signification of the sun sign. What is the job of the sun in the morning? It comes out and it throws light on everything and makes everything visible. The sun represents the soul and our karmic pattern. And above all, it throws light on us just like it throws light in the morning. It throws light on us. Hence, the, wherever the sun is placed or the sun sign is placed, this is how people see us because the light is being thrown on us. Hence, your sign, sun sign is how people see you or how they view you. You may or may not be how they view you, but this is how you are viewed by everybody. Now let's take a look at where Lata Mangeshkar's sun sign is placed. It's placed in the fifth house in Virgo. The fifth house represents fun things, music, creativity, uh, hobbies, love, and Virgo is ruled by Mercury. Mercury represents our speech pattern, um, and Virgo represents perfection. Now, all of these things, which is perfect singing, um, love songs, are what, uh, what people associate Lata Mangeshkar with. Whenever you think of Lata Mangeshkar, you think of perfect singing and love songs. That's how the people view her as. So this is what the sun sign represents, is how people view her. People view her or think of her as. So 
every time you think of Lata Mangeshkar, the only things you can think of is love songs and perfect singing. And that's what the sun sign in her case represents. The moon sign represents our mind, emotion, and deep-seated feelings. Wherever the moon sign is placed in our birth chart is where we tend to find the most happiness and comfort. It also is where we f our maternal instinct is at its peak because the moon represents our mother. In Lata Mangeshkar's birth chart, her moon sign is placed in the third house, in the sign of Cancer. The third house represents um, courage, determination, hard work, and above all, it represents our siblings. Lata Mangeshkar has found a lot of peace, happiness, and personal satisfaction when she has put in the hard work determination to further her personal and professional goals. It has given her a lot of comfort in doing that. It may seem like she would have put in a lot of effort, which she had to because her moon sign is in the third house, but it gave her a lot of personal satisfaction. The fact that it's in the third house shows her love and emotional bond for her siblings, her younger siblings. Her maternal instinct has come to the fore for her younger siblings. It is well known and everybody is aware of the fact that she played the role of a father in her younger siblings' life because their father passed away when she was very young and she had to be the caretaker of the family. She had brought her younger siblings up as a parent. She did this with love and a, an emotional bond with her siblings and because she wanted to. She did not think of this as a burden and she did this as because she found emotional peace doing so. It would seem like a lot of people would find this a burden. In her case, because this her moon sign is placed there, she did this out of pure love and a feeling of satisfaction because her maternal instinct was at its peak in the third house. Now let's take a look at the ascendant sign. The ascendant sign or rising sign represents our physical body, our self-image, our physical appearance, and above all, how we view ourselves. It also represents our life path and the destiny that we're going to take in this life. Let's take a look at Lata Mangeshkar's ascendant sign. It was Taurus. Taurus is ruled by Venus. Venus represents all the finer things in life. It also represents art and artists. And on a body structure per per perspective, it represents the throat. How does she view herself? She views herself as a person that was born to be an artist. She views herself as her throat, as a blessing in this life. And I'm sure she views herself that she needs to take great care of this throat so she can continue to be a great artist. Luxury and fashion, well, she said in many interviews that she's very proud of her collection, vast collection of her saris that she loves to spend on. And her favorite splurge is her big diamonds that she wears. Surprised? No, I'm not surprised when you look at a birth chart and I see Venus or Taurus in the first sign. I know that she's big on fashion, even though it wouldn't seem like, but yes, she has admitted in a lot of interviews that she loves splurging on her white saris and those big sparklers that she wears in her ears. So this is your ascendant sign. It represents your physical body and how you view yourself. Now here's an interesting tidbit about Lata Mangeshkar. Do you see Jupiter being positioned in the first house? Well, Jupiter is the planet of growth and abundance. Obviously her career has seen a lot of growth and abundance, but I'm sure at some point in her life, she was a little worried about her weight because sometimes Jupiter in the first house tends to give us a little weight issues. I'm not saying she's heavy, I'm just saying we love her, but she sometimes may worry about her weight. So here it is, the analysis of this celebrity that is loved all over the world, was born to be one of the greatest singers of all times. And now you have a snapshot analysis of her moon sign, sun sign, and ascendant. Let me know what you think about it. Hope this has cleared up some of the confusion regarding those three zodiac signs. So the summary is the sun. The sun sign is how people view you. 
the moon sign is our internal feelings and emotions and how we feel internally and the ascendant sign or the rising sign is our body structure our physical appearance and our life path and more importantly how we see ourselves so very important to understand ourselves if you don't have a birth chart no worries there's a, a website I can recommend that you can go in and uh, enter your birth details and it spits out your birth chart and then you can see where your Sun moon and your ascendant is and you know your guide to understand yourself Some Sometimes it's very uh, um, helpful to understand why certain things are happening in your life or why you behave a certain way. So it's a, it's a very good idea to do that. Understand your ascendant and moon sign and then uh, you know helps answer some of the questions or your life path one of my upcoming videos um, I'm gonna do uh, on life paths based on your ascendant so get ready to know your ascendant and be ready to hear that video thank you guys for all the views that I got for my last two videos um, and oh, I got a lot of subscribers so thank you guys for that um, but uh, when you watch my videos please hit the like button if you like it and share it with everybody that can use the the information that I'm giving out and subscribe to my channel I'd really appreciate it thank you very much thanks for watching and goodbye